So this is all about talking to you guys different types of sugars it's all we know we are loaded with sugars around us all over the world mostly of our food is enriched with sugar and fortified with sugar it cannot be denied it's very delicious and very yummy to drink and to eat foods and drinks that have you know sugar right to classify what those sugars are all about and we need to identify the characteristics and physical properties how we deal with it when they are trying to have chemical interaction inside of our body internal body system something like that to other you know substances as well oh my gosh okay now guys if you're studying i'm not really that sure in if you're taking up bs chemistry because actually guys i love that course before taking up BS Chemical Engineering because you know my I really love to become broadcast journalist when I was young okay I want to become that but actually my scholarship don't have that kind of course so I really shifted to another course in which I am also inclined well like that so since I am okay with chemistry and physics and i love science also that's why i'm shifted to bs chemical engineering but before that i'll check also the bs chemistry but there's no bs chemistry all about engineering really so that was uh <clears throat> G -A G -A -S -T -P -E scholarship academic scholarship uh you know uh funded by the government by that was a time of fidel v ramos so those who can avail that scholarship are those on the you know you know what i mean on the top three, you know, in the high school, when you are graduating in high school, something like that. And it's understood to be that your uh, academic subjects' grades are, you know, a little bit higher, something like that. And, you know, they will try to, you know, see everything, if you will be qualified, something like that. And then you will be granted with a scholarship, and there will be an examination after screening, something like that. And it was just lucky that I passed the examination. Actually, there's a lot <laughs> from, you know, from whole central Visayas, Region 7. But I don't know how many we are who passed, but uh, I'm very, very lucky and very blessed that I am one of those who passed. Something like that. Okay, my gosh. Because it, it, we cannot uh, study up to now if I, I'm not a scholarship. We belong to the poverty, you know. Poverty level of family status in the community. How can we do that? So, of course, we need to avail scholarships, something like that. Could it be uh, academic scholarship or non academic scholarship? Because I know also, in a non academic scholarship, it requires too much time and then you have to, uh, you know, do a lot of physical work, right? So, it will lessen or reduce your time in study. So, I'd rather choose the academic scholarship because it's okay you don't have to do a lot of you know efforts physically all you have to do is to study like that and then bingo and then you will maintain your grade something like that okay guys and then guys uh, i'll teach you right if uh, before understanding this because it's very important the, the prerequisite to understand this topic really is a uh, general chemistry lecture and you know an organic chemistry Okay, because mga multi type, we don't have enough background on organic chemistry and general chemistry lecture. Something like that. Okay, guys, oh my gosh. This is how, oh, di ba? Yung coffee ko, my gosh. Pasensya na kay. Somebody requested me to vlog politics, but I am not really that good in politics. Okay, my gosh. You know, I am not, you know, I am not used to vlog politics. Boragin ako ah, okay, science, mathematics, occupational safety and health, personal vlogging, singing, like that. So, okay. Okay, shut up. <laughs> so, we need to study first the classification. We have the uh, sugar. Guys, if we mean about sugar, the end, it will end with O-S-E, O-S-E, okay? O-S-E, for example, O-S-E, O-C, diba? For example, we have uh, sucrose, sucrose, dextrose, maltose, galactose, glucose, fructose, 
uh, trihalos, silubayos, silulose, like that, okay, and then xylose, ribose, deoxyribose, a lot of sugars around us, whether you can produce it naturally or we can produce that inside our body synthesis from carbohydrates because mainly sugars came from carbohydrates family, okay, carbohydrates family. So, I'm gonna shut. Hello! Okay. Naman. Wait, sa guys, ha? Ako sa ninyo, ano? Oo. Di ba namin ikaw? Labi ka rin January 1, New Year's Day. Ah, sarap-sarap kami naman matatamis. But you know, we need to... Me also, I'm regulating. Even though I love to eat. A while ago, I ate, you know, hopia. Because I love to eat hopia. Something like that. But, you know, I'll stop now because, oh my gosh, what happened to my sugar? I will keep on eating that one, okay? Something like carbohydrates. Oh my gosh. Okay. Monisha. Wala po eh. So, ang atong formula ni Inang Higay yun na is... Huwag yun na nang higay, isa po na lang ninyo ha. Please memorize this general formula. Because this will always be the same wherever you go, wherever we are, or whatever our future examinations or science examinations, that we will be able to face. The chemical formula of carbohydrates will never be changed. Okay? So this is uh, 6 atoms of carbon, 12 atoms of hydrogen, and 6 atoms of oxygen. Okay? What is your carbohydrates? Now what are you guys? Hindi maklaro. So, I'll use the red pen ha, para maklaro siya. Okay. Ganon. Okay. Now, we need to determine the polymer chemistry. Because these are all under polymer chemistry. And then, the parent topic for this is biochemistry. Biology plus chemistry. Now, we need to discuss... What is a polymer? A polymer is a substance composed of banded monomers. Okay, monomers banded together. Okay, something like that. So, one monomer is a single monomer, something like that. For example, I have a monomer of uh, glucose plus a monomer of galactose. So, that would be equal to disaccharide and then automatically a polysaccharide. So this is a polymer. Poly meaning multiple, uh, combined with so many monomers, something like that, okay? And now we need to identify that because how can we say that this is a polysaccharide sugar, something like that, okay? So the first thing is to classify, okay? Now guys, take note, take note, take note. Monosaccharide sugars are easy to, to break down. Compared to the disaccharides, of course, normally having a higher molecular weight compared to the monosaccharides. So normally, of course, it is not very, very easy to, you know, digest or dissolve or break down or decompose inside our system, right? But take note, sugar is a polar compound. It will normally react to water. That's why when we do urine, it will come out, something like that, okay? Uh, because of the polarity of the end corner of this sugar compound, something like that, okay? So the only thing here is the nonpolar that will become a problem because most of the toxic substance, not only the toxic uh, substances that have the presence of carcinogens, pathogens, or any type of, you know, toxins, because most of these are uh, nonpolar that do not react to water. So these are hydrophilic substances. So that's why it will retain inside our body to the veins, like that, uh, and uh, in our inside our body, it going to the brain, it going to the heart, something like that. Okay. So muna siya na Okay. Such as some example, guys. Oh, triglycerides, cholesterol, di ba? Mga ganon uh, siya. Uh, bilirubin, creatinin, something like that. So those are mga deadly na mga kuan. Mga substances that we need to control in our body. Okay? Ganun. So, monosaccharides. Okay, mono. 
Ano tayo na ngayon tayo sa kuwiki? Grabe ba ang kumakalang hilaw? Shut up! Okay. Mono saccharides. Okay, ganun. Okay, we have first the glucose. Okay, glucose. Glucose is the most popular ha, of all the sugars because these are the, the basic components of our glycogen. Okay, glycogen is a storage of all glucose inside our body. And if our system needs it, this glycogen will give to, for example, to pancreas, to the liver, the um, requirement for them to, to their nutrients, as one of their nutrients also, these other organs. Okay, because we need sugar in our body. Okay, as I said a while ago, over and over again, because we have nucleic acid. Okay, so we cannot produce nucleic acid, guys, if we don't have sugar for our genes. Okay, genetic information. So, such like this, I cannot talk properly, I cannot think properly. So, I always have memory of memory loss or dementia, the, ability, the impaired ability to think. That's this is all about the impaired ability to think and then to have a weak memory, something like that. And then you cannot decide properly because you have the, the disorder known as dementia. Okay, something like that. Okay, a general term, specific, not, not specific, general term referring to the impaired ability to think, uh, to, uh, the memory is weakened, something like that, and you cannot think properly and you cannot decide properly. Okay, so if we need nucleic acid, okay, to do that. And to do that, uh, the presence of sugar is a requirement. Okay, that's why we need also to uh, intake sugar. That's the role of the sugar. Ganun. So glucose. And also, this sugar really uh, our main source of our energy. Okay? Because sugar is not mainly sweet. A lot of them are not sweet, honestly. 90%, uh, 80% of them are not sweet. Only this glucose, fructose are sweet and so forth. But the other sugars I mentioned a while ago is not sweet, are not sweet. For example, cellulobios, trihalose, ganan, oh, lactulose, okay, lactose, Galactose, maltose, magaganan, cellulose. Oh, there are still sugar, chitin. Chitin also is a sugar. You know? But it is uh, most uh, found in the, in the surgical operation. You know the hilo? Why they use chitin? Because chitin is, uh, will not decompose immediately. Okay? And then it will just decompose for a period of time. And then it will slowly lost without uh, doing the uh, opening of your skin during operation. Again, it will just, you know, decompose there inside your body. So that's why that type of thread is, is composed of chitin, a sugar that is uh, fortified in all surgical operation. Kanang hilo, ilang tahe. Kabantay mo, because the hilo will just dissolve. Okay, for a longer period of time, something like that. They will not use the hilo makanang that's made of chitin. Chitin also is a sugar. Okay, C H I T I N. So if the question of the future explanation will say, what type of sugar found in surgical operation as a raw material of thread during operation? Your answer would be chitin. Okay, sugar should go on a sugar guys. Ha? Okay. So the video mode Okay. No truth to life is really to tell. So the ba ba ko siyang term chitin. Ganon. So, glucose, oh, C6H12O6, okay, so number two, galactus, okay, galactus, take note guys, galactus is only, uh, shall we say, an isomer of glucose, do you remember isomer, meaning to say, this is only uh, the same formula, but if you try to have the orientation, chemical structural orientation, the OH will go on the other side, something like that, okay? For example, if we have a representation by means of a, a Fisher projection, right? Fisher volume. Fisher projection, the most common, like that, in a three dimensional arrangement, ganun, blah, 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 chuk, chuk, diba? So, ito siya. Ganun. So, galactose, glucose, oh, carbon-6, 
Ganda. So, one, two, three. Makita ninyo, guys. Class, makita ninyo. Okay, makita nila. So, four, five, six. So, double band oxygen and then H here. And we have here like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. Then, the OH will be here and like that. Okay, so like that, like that, like that. Okay, and OH, OH, OH. Okay, uh, H of course, and then CH2, OH. So this is the formula of glucose. Okay, you just don't see this inside your body. But this is the formula if you try to get sample and experiment in the laboratory, having your chemical analysis. So this would be appearing in the you know, microscope or any technology if you use the, uh, for example, spectrophotometry technology to determine what's going to be the, by using of a light, you will see what's happening there and it will be reflected in the screen. It's going to be the, the, you know, the orientation. This is the glucose. You get the point? So there's a double band at the top, huh? Okay. And then the carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Is it the carbon 3 ang OH na sa left? Right? Okay. Now ang galactose, mubalik tad siya. The reverse, something like that, okay? Only the arrangement, it will turn like that. Oh, na yung galactose. But the same, ang OH mo, mabalik dili ari. Okay, mubali ko ito. So, na lactose, wala na siya. So, another orientation that is same chemical formula that is isomer. Okay? Get the point? So, the lactose. Pagaya siya formula guys ha. Okay. There's another one also. The same formula. Uh, we have the dextrose. Okay, dextrose. Okay, the dextrose also is C6. H12, O6, again. Okay? Like that, and this has been uh, found in naturally in some of the plants or fruit. So uh, specifically, the, based on my research, it's going to be on the potato. Something like that, or in wheat content, you know, plants, something like that. Oh, starch. You can start S, T, A, R, C, H. So, at tumimig mo siya, raw material niya kay starch or potato. Starchy foods, ang dextrose, but still glucose hindi siya. Okay, number four. Okay, we have a cellulose, di ba? Organic sugar ang cellulose, guys, ha? Number five, we have the ribose. Okay, number six, we have the deoxyribose. Or, paliwan niya siya, guys, deoxyribose pa. Bilong kami siya sa Osaka kategory. Deoxyribose. Okay. Ganon. Deoxyribose. Oh. Okay. Galactose, glucose, dextrose, silos, ribose, and deoxyribose. Okay. Muna siya ang mga mga sa arise. Or, we call this as a, you know, a single type of sugar. Single type of sugar. Okay. Ganon. Now, katong day sa arise, Dagdag ka alin siya. Okay, number one. Ngunit siya ang katong sucrose. Okay. Sucrose. Then the formula here will be now different. It's now carbon 12, H22O11. Carbon 12, H22O11. Okay guys, when I was in a high school, the first sugar that I memorized the chemical formula is not the glucose. Oil. First memorized the sugar, the sucrose. And then later, the glucose, and then blah, 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 so and so, until such time, we can kind of memorize. But what I memorize first is the sucrose. So it, it will never erase in my brain cells all the time. When I do the vlogging about sucrose sugars, or sugar cake, or table sugar, or shall we say the refined white sugar. Okay? That made from the cane, right? K, C, A, and E. So, what is that? Okay? I read also some of the source in uh, you know, references that uh, the, the sugar of uh, a grape is not so close to that it's glucose. Okay? So, be careful also. Because, you know, we summarize that or like that. We have a common understanding that if that is a citrus fruit, automatically the sugar will be fructose. But it's not true to 
uh, grape because the grape, the, the, the sugar will be found there is the glucose, not fructose. So you know, you have to research because maybe you summarize like that and you will become wrong. Okay, because normally we think all sugars coming from the fruits are okay fructose, but exact for the grapes. Okay, <laughs> research that also to yourself. Okay, uh, cane also is a sugar, right? Uh, it's a fruit, but why the sugar like this? So it, it depends on the you know the type of sugar to be obtained to them. Okay, now I'm so close to my shop. So our formula of sucrose, guys, is uh, glucose. Okay, plus fructose. By the way, fructose na kalimutan na to, no? Number six ni siya sa mga sakarais, ha? Uh, fructose, ganan. So, pwede na tayo mag-enumeration in the future if the exam will say, enumerate the different types of monosaccharide sugar. And then, there's no choices. Okay, you will be the one to answer. Diba? Say, six points. Question number one. Diba? So, na nakay points. Charot! Okay. So, dahil sa karais, muna ni siya. Dahil sa karais. Okay. Sucros. Sucros, glucose plus fructose. See? Uh, monomer plus monomer. It will, or monosaccharide plus another monosaccharide will become to disaccharide. Di means two. Ha? Ah, okay. So, uh, monosaccharide and glucose. And fructose also is monosaccharide. Something like that. So, sometimes, I remember this. A lot of uh, examinations like this also. I don't think so if this is in uh, board examination. I cannot remember Berna Sha. But so, when I, uh, I faced uh, one of the examinations before, there's a lot of choices. For example, which of the following is a uh, monosaccharide sugar? Okay, but then they give a lot of disaccharide there except for the monosaccharide. So, your answer will be the monosaccharide. So, we need to memorize this one. For example, which of the following is a disaccharide sugar? A. Glucose B. Dextrose C. Ribose D. Sucrose So your answer will be sucrose Right? So di mo ka pwede magkuan rama Butikaw, butikaw, ikaw Butikaw, 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 ikaw Di na siya pwede na I'm guessing in this type of situation Because there's a lot of sugars That are belong to carbohydrates Okay? You cannot guess anymore You get the point? Maglibog kag sama kung guess ka Okay, but of course, maybe you will answer so of course because it is the common also in your table sugar, but we don't know, right? Okay, so number two, we have the maltose. Charala. Okay, maltose. Charala. Eh, kakaluka maltose. Ang maltose, guys, okay, pwede ang gagawin siya ng formula ano niya. Basta guys, na kailangan ganyan guys, di ba nandiyan na ito? The, the formula will never be C6H12 o 6 na. Basta dahil sa karais. Okay, nagdubli naman yung carbon. So, 6 times 2, gano'n gano'n. So, we need to say 12 atoms of carbon, all disaccharide sugars. 6 atoms of carbon, all monosaccharide sugars. Something like that. So, maltose is not monosaccharide. The same as glucose. You get the point? So, this is disaccharide, 12 atoms of carbon, the same as sucrose. So, our formula will be this. Just like also mathematics have formula, right? So, maltose is equals to glucose. Sayo na siya, guys. Glucose plus glucose. Bogacious. Okay? Glucose plus glucose. So, atong isyo, manong nangangin ni siya. Okay, ako sa inyo yung maritala na nga glucose plus glucose yung siya. Okay, number three. Okay, we have the lactose. Okay, lactose for the milk. Okay, milk sugar. And then, this is not also sweet. Okay? So, lactose, pariwag na po na siya. Carbon 12 is 22 o 11. Okay, ang yung formula na hindi kayo na will be uh, lactose, the lactose plus fructose. Okay? Okay. So, you have to think over and over again that the formula will only use every time the monosaccharides, not the disaccharides, in your memorization. For example, I need to memorize the different disaccharides sugar. So your formula will be, ah, I need to add monosaccharides only, not the disaccharides. You must marom na mga kaana. Always monosaccharide ang ini add. I say, the lactose or monosaccharide plus fructose monosaccharide for the lactose. And that is the formula of lactose. Okay? So ayaw pagpili din sa disaccharide kaya mayag buka. Okay? Ganun siya. Number four, lactulose. 
Okay. Ang kanyang lactulose, guys, pariwa na siya sa maltose, glucose plus glucose. Okay? Glucose plus glucose. And then number five, we have the trehalose. Okay? Trehalose. So the trehalose, guys, is ano siya? Reducing sugar. Reducing siya. And then, you know, copos of monomers. So glucose plus glucose, gihapon. So, bear into your mind that there's a lot of glucose plus glucose in your during your memorization uh, period. <laughs> diba? Hindi mo rin mo kalimutan. Okay, so, uh, oh my gosh, a lot of glucose plus glucose. Hindi mo itong timanaan katong mga glucose plus glucose lang. Okay, number six, we have the cellulobios. Okay, cellu, uh, cellulobios. Okay. Hindi mo siya timanaan katong cellulobios come from the word cellulose in your memorization. Ah, cellulose is kind of cellulose. Ganon. And then this is non-reducing sugar and a polysaccharide. Dili na siya dahil saccharide plus saccharide or monosaccharide plus monosaccharide in which polysaccharides talaga siya. Composed of a lot of monosaccharides or a lot of disaccharides muna yung mong cellulobios. Okay? Because as you can remember, cellulose is a type of sugar that is the most abundant compound in the planet Earth. Cellulose. And it is the component of the plant cell wall okay of the of the plants imagine there's a lot of plants fruits and vegetation all over the world cellulose is there okay so take into account so of course normally the definition of cellulobios is not the same with one to so cross multiple plus, 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 because of the abundance okay so it will now become polysaccharide sugars or the non-reducing sugars. Hindi nagigit siya na-reduce. So, ganan. Okay. Mas mo na ulan, guys. In fairness. O, di ba? It's a blessing. Nag-ulan siya. In fairness. Okay. Now, o. Muna na siya, no? Ito papasok na. Okay, guys. Ari na pa. Okay. Nakakaloka. Ito yung basa. Okay. Now, what, guys? Okay. Uh, we have glucose plus glucose, let's say, for example, for the maltose, right? Glucose. Sa mga glucose, C6, H12, O6, plus C6, H12, O6 is equal to carbon 12, H24, plus O12. Oh, di ba? And then, if we add the glucose plus glucose, then why this is more than the carbon 12, which should be 2, O11. I will explain why. Guys, your identification is only the carbon. And then you will draw the structural formula. There are 12 carbon, right? If you draw the 12 carbon, this 24 will become only 22. This oxygen will become now O11. And then if you try to memorize that language, which siya, and now we will memorize guys, ah, 12 times 2 minus 2. Para di na ka mag-sexual formula. Because it will take time for you to draw, just to determine how many hydrogen atoms, how many oxygen atoms. So, ano na mo? So, okay. Atoms of carbon, ganon. Oh, okay. Ang hydrogen niya, times 2 minus 2. Okay? And then, oh, ang oxygen niya, oxygen niya, minus 1. Oh, ganon. So, for example, uh, so, okay, 12 times 2, 20, uh, 12 times 2, 24, minus 2, 22. And then, okay, oxygen 11, why 11? So, minus 1, right? So, it is 11. So, it will become 12, 22, 11. That's why carbon 12, H22, O11. If you don't want to make the structural formula, na imo siyang i ulit ulit, ganun siya, ay kapuyan ka, na, so mag-memorize na lang ka, oh, number of carbon atoms, maulis siya, times 2 minus 2, and oxygen minus 1, something like that, okay? So, padali ka. Okay? Kung ato siya i-break, maaragot kung ato i-prove, nangis siya sa kasimbol band. Pati nagan ang carbon, nalagot ito, bumano? Okay, ato ang nagan. Sige. Okay, guys. 12 carbon atoms. Talo ka. Diba? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ah, 6 lang siya. 6 atoms lang siya. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 lang siya. O, ganan. O. So, 1, 6 atoms, ba? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. O, oh, ganun. So, so, plus another carbon. So, hindi mo na siya So, 6, 7, 8, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Ganun. 
So, ang nabiring mo, start here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Napurus mo na siya, hydrogen dili ari. O, oh, ganan. Okay? Huwag siya ka naging taani. Pero may bala naging na ito, guys. Anyway, one time lang na siya, kung makasagot ka, then bingo, you will still remember this until your last breath. Okay? Ganon. If you love science, ha? Okay? If you don't love, then who cares? Okay? <laughs> like that. Okay? Like this. Imagine, this carbon is in your system now. Because you drink coffee with sugar, you drink, uh, you know, uh, Pepsi, like that. So this, a lot of carbon already in your system. 12 atoms of carbon. And then you, eat, uh, you drink that daily, daily, a lot of how many carbons you have? Maybe, maybe trillions of carbon atoms inside our body. Okay? Like trillions or billions or thousands. That's what we need to, you know, we need to digest and decompose these carbon atoms. Okay, so that there will be no problems in our, you know, organs in our body. Okay? Also, we are going to be able to get out of here. Let's get hydrogen. Okay? Now, since we are going to get out of here, the oxygen, we are going to get out of here. Okay? Oh, what is it? Oh, that's it. So, the OH is going to be able to get out of here. 12 actually food. Kaya ano siya? 6 times 2, 12, diba? 12 po lang yung mong OH. So, magbutang ka na yung O. OH, O, OH. Nagano'n siya, chuchu. Okay, OH, OH, OH. OH, 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 OH. Okay, 1, 2, 3, OH. O, ganun. Ipa ang OH. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 OH. Okay, ganun. Pila yung mong hydrogen. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Minus ito sa usa. May muna lang yun siyang 22. Okay? So, 22 ka hydrogen. Ang oxygen. Ipo na ang oxygen, no? So, 12 sa lang oxygen. Ito lang na lang. 12. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then minus 1. Okay? Ganun. The 11. So, mo rin siyang yung formula sa sucrose. Ganun. Okay, guys? Di ba nilalaman siya? Okay, any questions so far? Kalo ka. O, di ba? O, di ba? Mga friends, mga kapatid. Mo na siya. Okay. Now. Okay. Now, so, kung sa may formula, ano yung kuhan? Molecular formula, ano yung siya, guys, ah? Okay, ano no? This is the how or... Duhal ko na siya, guys, at titimanan. We need to remember only two, how to we do our structural formula. It could be expressed in Fisher projection by M.L. Fisher in 1891. We have also the Howard projection, okay? The Howard projection expresses in a three-dimensional arrangement. No, two only, not three. Because orientation, okay, 3D na to siya, di ba? 3D. 3D space, di ba na, chuba chucho, okay? Ano lang siya, two, ang Haworth or projection, okay? So, we need to say, two-dimensional orientation on three-dimensional organic molecule representation by projection. Something like that. Ang kang T-share, kwan siya? The most common, the ganon siya tiba chuchu, and then two lang siya, two sample dimensional representation by projection. Ganon. Para masakta na tapong yao yao, mona ni siya. Okay, mona ni siya. Mona ni siya kang Howard, Howard projection. Okay. Okay. So for example, if the question was saying in the future, what are the two types of representing representing a structural form or organic formula? Your answer will be Haworth projection and Fisher projection enumeration, right? Okay, two types of uh, structural organic formula representation. So that will be your answer already. Okay, so ang iyong tiba sa Haworth, there's a cyclic structure like this. Okay, ang Fisher wala yung ani. Or the carbon hydrogen, carbon hydrogen, Okay, guys, 
And then, akin mo yung anything niya, yun na, okay. CH2OH, oxygen, na gano'n, chuka chuchu, OH, na gano'n, H, na gano'n, we got gano'n, 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 OH, OH, na gano'n, gano'n, so 1, 2, 3, 4, so, ayun din ako sa ka-H, yung kabilang kat, okay, OH, yung kabilang kat din mo. Pero actually, kasi kung ito nang restraint din mo, ito na lang kung ibilang kat para makita dyan din mo ba, okay? So, ano ba? 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, wala siya ang atong kuhaan. Projection. So, this is an example of the uh, ribose sugar. Ribose sugar. Kanis siya, guys, ha? Uh -huh. And then, the deoxyribose. Uh, Boy, hindi hapon, but you have to put H here. Wala na siya yung OH. Ano na siya? Oh, deoxyribose na na siya po. Okay, dali. Very, very easy to determine the deoxyribo sugar. You just have to eliminate the one OH on the other side. So, the OH is the one OH. Ganaan. Muna siya deoxyribose. Muna siya ang main component of the DNA. Kaling deoxyribo sugar. Okay? So, dili ma-detect ang DNA test kung wala ay deoxyribo sugar ang human being na matransfer na sa bata. Okay? Muna ang DNA test. Okay? So, na, kung wala yung deoxyribo sugar, it's very difficult to determine if the gene belong to the father, belong to the mother. Okay? The uh, pentose sugar is requirement aside from the phosphate group and the nucleobase amino group. Okay? The nucleotide. <laughs> Muna siya ang pag-determine sa DNA test sa any individual, something like that. So, kung deficiency of sugar sa deoxyribose, it will never be identified. After getting the sperm cell sample or the semen sample like that, or could it be sometimes also blood? But most of the time, sperm cell, right? You get a sample of sperm cell and you determine the DNA if the, the child belongs to you. Okay? So, this one is very important, the deoxyribose sugar. Ganaan. So, in the future, the Examination will say, what is the specific sugar found in DNA test? Uh, your answer will be deoxyribose. Kung ayun ang pagduha-duha, deoxyribose, kasi wala nito mga glucose, fructose, the multiple choice, right? Blah, blah, blah. But your answer will be deoxyribose. Uh, so what is the specific sugar uh, necessary for RNA or ribonucleic acid uh, as a messenger in the genetic information? Uh, your answer will be ribose sugar. That's why ribonucleic acid. Okay? Muna sila. Kanin to ha? RNA linear nucleic acids. Okay? So, yung mo rin ipasok sa yung brain cells. Pag nucleic acid, oh my gosh! There are three components. Okay? The amino group, the phosphate group, and the sugar group, which is specifically pentoses. What do you mean by pentoses? Five atoms of carbon. Not the hexoses. The hexoses are the glucoses, fructoses. Special ni siya, pentoses of five sugars. Mo ni siya, one, two, three, four, five. Okay? So, pentoses sugar. Ang kailangan sa DNA test. Okay, ganun. Ano yung Howard projection? Oh, ganun. Okay? Kang Fisher, mo ito kung ilisas ganina. You're doing na nako, di ba? Oh. Any question so far? Okay, guys. No question. We we'll proceed to another. Okay. So let's stop. Okay. Now we talk about so we have a chemical formula, molecular formula, and then we need to talk about the. We will start for glucose because the glucose is the very very basic of all the sugar and the most important one because this is used in our main energy source, energy production. Okay, without glucose, we will die because we don't have energy to do our task. Okay? And then it will, be, it will be started all from the process of photosynthesis in our ecosystem, in our ecology, something like that. Okay? I, remember, uh, I already showed to you the reaction of photosynthesis, something like that, to the true troop, and then to the reaction of the chlorophyll, and then, you know, the phosphorus coming from the sun and the light, and it will produce... Uh, high energy carrying molecule found in our cells, not out among ATP, ADP, ganun, good, 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 good. These are the important sources of our energy. Okay, glucose, good, 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 good
Ang sama ng sources ano yung mga glucose, sarap. Okay, glucose. Very easy, ha? Of course, the source is carbohydrates. Okay? Carbo, carbo na lang. From plants, animals. Okay, plants, animals, fruits, like that. Okay, these are, uh, trees also have carbohydrates. Trees. If you try to get sample, there's also carbohydrates. Not necessarily we need to eat that. We I'm trying to point out only the presence of carbohydrates. Okay, not necessarily na atong kanon or di. But if elevated na ang trees because most of the carbohydrates we are not going, we are not going to eat man. Okay, so ay nata sa plants, animals, and fruits. Oh, malasya. Mga sources sa glucose. Okay, sa plant guys, masama na siya sa plant. Okay, kung sa mga process ang sa plant, mo na siya katong ano, ah, uh, sa mga process siya, glycolysis siya dili ari. Okay? Glycolysis, glycolysis sa animals, gly glycogenolysis. Tarot. <laughs> Di ba? Okay. So, fruits and plants are glycolysis and then animals glycogenolysis, the breakdown of glucose of an animal. Okay? And then the breakdown of glucose from plants and fruits are the glycolysis. Something like that. That's why mupalo ka sa photosynthesis. Okay? So, kay glycolysis na tulito aro. Ang ato aro kay glycogenolysis inside sa atong lawas kay animal lang ta. Okay? Muna ang source sa atong glucose. O ganun. So, basically, plants and fruits and animal also, para mga beef, mga cow, or goat, sa panabiha, Sheep, chicken, like that. Diba plants na siya? So basically, these are all food. Okay? So we will just equate this as from food. Okay? Because juices also are coming from food. Okay? Or plants. So or basically, food and drinks. No? Okay, it's okay. Food and drinks. Because most of the drinks come coming from fruits. Okay? So let's just say carbohydrates come from, okay, Drinks and food. Ganan. Okay, because food, food magya po ng mga animals. Okay? Diba? Or else, ito mga ano, chicken. Kung yun yung to food ang animals. Charot. Okay? Muna ang glucose, guys. Muna yung sources. Okay? Get the point? And these guys, uh, ang glucose, two times diba siya, guys, ha? Na ito D. Aside from ito, mga isomers niya, nag-check ka ugali yung inan shomer. Wala, naglipog na. Okay? So, ato pa man, if you take chemical engineering, there's a lot of uh, terms. We need to identify one by one what is that. For example, what is the definition of an isotope? Isomer. Okay? Uh, Inansumer. Stereoisomerism. Ganyan ganun. Uh, an ahula more. Okay? Isodiabetic. Isothermal. Okay, you should also... Ah! Not necessarily memorize, but we have to detect only the preference, is the definition of that, so that we can easily understand. Okay? Like that. Okay, now we have, so, glucose have an inan shumer. What do you mean inan shumer? Okay. Actually, basically like an isomer, diba? Isomer is an organic chemical substances that have chemical formula but differ in their structural chemical orientation and chemical and physical properties, something like that. But stereoisomerism is another part, okay? And inan shumer is under of stereoisomerism, but we are focusing now for inan shumer man siya. So, kung ano siya, guys, kapag hindi siya magtuntuan, magtuntuan siya, mabalirag yun siya, kung ano ka, ka mag, uh, let's say, I am here, and then I go to the mirror. So, my, in front of me is a mirror image. Error image, but only a compound. So that those substances that will accept that like that are called inan shumer. Okay, so ibo kung sabi so all uh, non superimposable organic molecule mirror images. Okay, like that. You get the point? Mirror images. Ito pa. Pareho lang yung shop, but na rotate na ka kayo at bang naman mo mirror images, but the same. Chemical formula, only the orientation. Ang katubang ko dito, ang katubang ko siya na ako, di ba? So, muna siya mga inan shumer. So, ang inan shumer sa glucose, if there, there are two mirror image of glucose. We have the D-glucose, okay, and the L-glucose. 
Okay? So, ang importante, you should remember guys, that the D-glucose are very, very important. Okay? We can find this naturally in our plants and animals, in our ecology. Sa malatong food. But the L-glucose cannot be found naturally. Okay? It can only be synthesized in the laboratory. If we get sample and it, uh, go in the laboratory, so we can do this artificially. Okay? Ganun, ganun ang L-glucose. Get the point? So if you speak dextrose, what's the dextrose? So that is D-glucose because that kind of came from the starchy food and the you know, potato. Ang dextrose can be done sa mga patient, sa hospitals. So that's D-glucose example. Right? So in the question in the picture, we'll say, what are the two the two enantiomers of glucose? Your answer will be D-glucose and L-glucose. Okay? Ganun siya. Ganun siya ang sa glucose. O mara yung sources sa glucose. Now, at tuta sa iyang kuan, function. What is the function of the glucose in our body? Huh? Function, of course, energy. Okay, energy main source. Okay, energy main source. Mug yun na siya pinakabisik guys, ha? Energy main source. And then, carrying molecule, organic compound. Okay? And found in our cells for the living organisms for cellular metabolism, okay, cellular metabolism and cellular respiration. Okay, imagine sugar can help our breathing support system because this is cellular metabolism, meaning the breakdown of fats like that, uh, toxins inside our body, and cellular respiration. Oh, sugar also is responsible for it. Imagine how we need the sugar. Okay, this a lot of oxygen also. That's obvious because oxygen is leads, leads us to inhale. That's why it's also in the formula of glucose, right? C six H twelve O six are six atoms of oxygen. Oh, meaning to say it adds breathing also to human human being. When that carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen splits up during the biological synthesis inside our body. Okay, so the gonna get oxygen loaded with oxygen. Okay, because oxygen is the most abundant element in the planet Earth. Okay? The most abundant element in the planet Earth. Okay? Element, ha, this is not organic compound because organic compound is cellulose. Okay? Uh, cellulose is the most abundant organic compound in the planet Earth. Okay? Right? Oxygen is the most abundant element in the planet Earth. An element and organic compound is not the same. That's why be careful also with the phrasing of the question. Because others will all answer immediately oxygen. Sure po ay naman, mukalit of oxygen. Especially when sila ka-encounter mo sa ang cellulose. Okay, they will answer oxygen. Because oxygen is common. It's really most abundant and reactive, blah, 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 so and so. Okay? Like that. Okay, and take note, oxygen is discovered by Joe's Presley. Okay, si Joe's Presley ang nag-discover sa oxygen. Okay. So now, going back, cellular metabolism, cellular respiration. Okay? Then on. Muna ang saglokos niyang function. Pwede na din siya, guys. Duhara ka function, okay na na siya. And then also for the blood regulation. Sugar blood regulation. Ang kanyang glucose. So tulo. Okay? Um, okay, blood sugar re regulation. Okay? Regulation. Then on. So, what is the function of glucose? Now, are you going health benefits? Okay? If you want to reaction, if you want to as a geekan, we need to talk about the health benefits. So, we state first the bad and the positive. The positive benefits of sugar is just mostly like the same the function. Okay? We'll go directly to the bad benefits. Okay, something like that. This is the most important part. Okay? So like this, if it is a, uh, let's say, ayan. Okay, if it is a uh, above 140 milligrams per deciliter, above, like this. Um, above, oh, this is above, right? Oh no, is this not, this is greater than, greater than or is that like above? Sure. Mm. Greater than 140, okay, this is not good already. Okay, like that for your glucose level. We mean here blood because the blood will receive the glucose. So it's called blood. Okay, 
Okay, siya ba namo transport sa sugar? Naman niya sa bloodstream. Ano na? C6H12O6, blood glucose bila siya or uh, sugar in the blood or blood sugar. Okay? So, kinang 140, okay? Paubo sa 140 is okay. Matataas, delikado. Okay? Hantod sa, let's say, uh, 149, gano'n, gano'n. 150 to gano'n. 249, gano'n. Then 250, pataas. Okay. 250 mg per deciliter. This is willing to type 2 diabetes, ha? Type 2 diabetes and hyperglycemia and any cardiovascular vascular disease. Cardiovascular disease and coronary, coronary diseases. And then, 152 to 449, an indication or a symptom that you will develop that disease. This is pre-diabetic, okay, pre, before. That will trigger diabetic in the future. And this is diabetic, okay? So type 2, type 2 diabetes here, okay? 250 milligrams per deciliter. So 140 less than is okay, like that. So in my part, I have 90 milligrams per deciliter. So I am, my sugar is very normal. Okay? But take note, I have the records also, I put that in my personal record, okay? And then, if that is also more than, uh, less than 70, okay, be careful, it is also lack of sugar. Okay, lack of sugar. So, then ka malipong, you will develop, uh, for example, weaknesses, and then, uh, manluspad. Okay? Paling of the skin. Okay? Because you lack also of sugar. Because that is below 70, that's not good. Okay? So we, we will develop hypoglycemia. The lack of lacks, the lack of blood sugar. Okay? Ang hyperglycemia, roto ang taas, the higher okay, blood sugar. Okay? In your system, in your bloodstream. So hypoglycemia and hyperglycemia. Now, hyperglycemia na alihang type of diabetes. Okay? Or diabetic persons. Okay? Muna. So, ang regulate ano yung hormone, ang insulin hormone. Okay? So, you need to intake a lot of insulin hormone so that it will be stabilized and regulated between the liver and the pancreas. Something like that. Okay? Because you remember, one of the function of the pancreas is for the endocrine function. Secret hormones and blood sugar regulation. It's very obvious. Right? Between the pancreas and the liver and the liver, the job of the liver is to detoxify any toxic substances, detoxify and filter out any toxins from our system. Okay? So it's very clear. Sila yung duha. Nang mutaas ang yung sugar, meaning you need a little bit of insulin. Okay? Insulin hormone to stabilize. You get the point? So muna may tabo. Okay, now another bad health effects of over sugar is, you know, this one. Uh, the, ve the veins, V-E-I-N-S, veins, okay, like a passageway of the bloodstream. Uh, the veins, okay, uh, will be blocked, okay, will be blocked, or shall we say will be slowly damaging, like that, and, you know, it will not transport properly the, the nutrients, the vitamins, the minerals, and any kind of biological and chemical synthesis to, to different anatomy structures in our body required because they require that they really are a tool so it will be blocked so they will, there will be deficiency for example the brain is wet, waiting for uh, sugar the heart is waiting for sugar the kidney is waiting and no more release because it was blocked in the veins so what will happen so again there will be a problem so you should free your veins in your blood vessels, free. Okay? So, so that there will be a vital transport of the blood. Okay? Not only that, so that's also the blood, like that, bloodstream. Okay? So, ito ang mga nutrients, it will be transported by the blood. Right? Like that. So, be careful. So, uh, what, how can we do this? Is to increase the blood flow circulation in our body. Increase our heart flow rate, something like that. And then, we need to conduct exercise. Okay, physical exercises. Okay, that's the only way. Or cut off the high sugar food in your system. There are only two. Okay, no other else. Or you can take supplements, but take supplements are very, very costly. Maintenance, 
And then, if you don't have money anymore, how can you reduce the level of sugar? Better, the natural way. Okay? And then, the eating the right amount of uh, sugary substances only. Okay? Specifically, the glucose and the sucrose. Okay, so, what are the bad health effects of too much glucose in our system? What are the health adverse effects? Positive, kaya pero man siyang tulog, di ba? Paro tayo siya. Okay? We need to discuss further. Okay, guys? Umuma na siya. So, if we have higher consumption or high level of sugar, we have also the disease of the kidney. Okay? Mag-connect-connect siya. It will be interrated with each other. Like that, like that. Okay? So, an other, you know, stroke. Something like that. Nagtakod-takod siya ba? Okay? Okay, pati ang liver, dililog na po siya, fatty liver. Okay, non-alcoholic non fatty liver disease in AFD. Kaya taas ang yung sugar po. Taas mong sugar, taas mong cholesterol. Because they are independent mga good. Na yung mga component, guys, na, for example, cholesterol. Cholesterol needs sugar for the, or precursors to produce cholesterol. Something like that. So that's why, most of the times, though not very obvious, if you are not very particular of your results, and if you are not a science lover, so give it, diba? Who cares? But if you try, if you are very smart enough to detect, okay, the, the quantity or the amount of cholesterol and sugar, take, take that out, something, it will increase, it will increase also the cholesterol level, if sugar also will increase something like that. If it will drop and the sugar a little bit closer to the amount of the sugar, something like that, the directly proportional with each other because of the chemical formula, because it needs the reaction inside needs that component to produce this kind of component. You get the point? Mona sha. Okay, takut takut dia nak itu atau then and then mungkin uh, develop terkena diseases and then nana after sixty years old, seventy years old, it is not that very late na talaga sha. Okay? Yung, uh, related po sa kidney. Um, sa sugar, uh, related, related ka po sa kidney. Okay, okay. Naman yung mga reaction dito ato. Okay? Remember, ito mga creatinine, lila rubin, mga little bit, mga sugar, 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 chuchu. Chuchu. Okay? You get the point? Um, I don't have to explain things, how they react, because the time will not be enough. Okay? <laughs> so, this is not, uh, you know, uh, a normal uh, Passion, this discussion that we will try to discuss everything, the chemical reactions or whatever, okay? So, time will not be enough, see? I'm just talking here, and it, it, uh, already, what's the time now? The, the time so fast running, okay? My like, gosh, oh, 81 a shot. Oh, diba? What's up on coffee? Oh, you can't stop going to go coffee on a shot. Okay, guys? Oh. Okay, my gosh. Mm. This is coffee without sugar. Okay, actually my dinner is just only, uh, you know, a pandisal, something like that. And then, no rice. Okay? I totally cut off rice. Charot! <laughs> Ganon! Di ba say siya special? Okay then, one thing also, if you know how to cut off those um, uh, very dangerous substances, your sleep will be very, very good also. Sleep. Sleep cycle. Okay? Like that. Okay? So, sleep cycle, oh, you will also remember the hormone. Like that, melatonin hormone. So, how the sugars important? Are this important in our melatonin hormone? Ganon. So, oh my gosh, I can't sleep early. So, what's the reason for this? Uh, maybe you have a high crave for sugar, and I think so, not really uh, sure, based on my research, but that proven to be true. I'm, I'm not, uh, disclaimer, I'm not a biologist, okay? I am not a doctor. Okay, it looks like that if you are found to sleep very, very long time, you can sleep early, because you crave for sugar with some senses. Sugary substances, guys, uh, will work your adrenaline hormone. Okay, and if this adrenaline hormone in the pancreatic gland, some, oh no, endocrine gland, of course, 
it will secrete hormones. The more you, you crave for sugar, the more you cannot sleep easily. Okay? Same as you drink coffee, you drink Pepsi, then you can sleep easily because of the caffeine. Okay? Something like that issues, huh? But then if you sleep two hours before drinking coffee, there's no problem. But if, what I mean, if you drink coffee and then you want to sleep, immediately you cannot sleep easily. That's what I mean. Okay? And then that's why if you crave on sugar a lot, sweet food, and then, oh my gosh, your adrenaline hormone is working very, very fast. Adrenaline. Okay? And then your melatonin will suffer. Another hormone. Something like that. Okay? So there's a lot of hormones. Serotonin hormone, endorphin hormone, melatonin hormone, like that. So this is very important because, you know, this is related to nucleic acid. Okay, nucleic acid. Magbabuang tanong. Nucleic acid because of the communication into our brain cells. Oh, ganun. Messenger. Okay, messenger mag ng RNA. Ribonucleic acid, messenger niya. Mag-transcribe ana ang deoxyribonucleic acid from the DNA. Ganun, ganun siya, chuba, chuba. And there will be a synthesis there. Ganun siya, mag ba? siya. So, sana lang. Ganun. I cannot explain further. Okay. <laughs> because the time will not be enough. Charot. Really. Okay, technically, okay? Because this need technical information, not only opinion, opinion, okay? Because science is not based on opinion. It should be based in factual technical information derived by experimentation, okay? Experimentation and scientific research proven to be true and correct based on your scientific laws and theories and principles, something like that, okay? So, really, it's opinion, opinion lang. Okay, ganon. Yeah, pwede masayo, pwede. Kailang correct din siya kay technical information. Theory, magod siya. Okay? That's why I told you every time, you can validate and verify that to other resources. Maybe I'm, I'm talking not true here. That's why you need to validate also what I'm talking to because I'm not also perfect. Yes? And then you can issue an error term state, error term meaning an error statement to my you know, in the comments, I can easily also verify. Oh, really? I missed that out. Okay, ganun. Okay, and I will put in my description of my video. Oh, like a, a big apology, blah, 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 so and so. Ganun. But if you want, I'll be tabo if there are errors like that. Okay? And I'm just not good. Wabji, okay, perfect. Good. Okay? So, see what's up. Okay, Wabji, okay, mahulot. Oi. Ano ka? Diba? Oh. Oh, very cold. It's very cold, right? So this is in the thermic environment. There's an in decrease in the temperature uh, from the surround to the surrounding. Mm. Wow. Oh, di ba? Ang mga siyang kuan. Ang mga kuan. Ay, lang pa sa kuan. Galactus. Saan ang oras ko? Taas na rin sa vlog niya. Oh, ako si Kutul eh. Di po tayo pa doon sa Galactus, ha? Okay? So, let's stop for glucose. Ah, but before going that, guys, you need to understand also, ganahan, ha? Um, the sun, uh, okay, the sun is a uh, Proxima Centauri, will produce the light. And this light is this light energy. And then, it will be uh, absorbed by the chemical energy. Chemical. By the plants. Okay? Di ba? Hindi sa paniklaro, okay? Mabuhi. Dili man tama buhi. Okay? Okay, guys? Ako i-discuss ang klaro. Kasi kanila na part, pwede na daog na kaayo. Daog na kaani kung kaya bawa kaani ng apuan. Okay? Ganan! Laoy? Pero guys, you know, guys, no? Uh, for me, no need to, to go on the detail of the other substances. Okay? Hola guys, kita ako ko microphone. Wow. The Bluetooth device is really cheap. Wow, I proved it that this is quality microphone. It's been, you know, dropping on the floor, but it's very good, right? Oh, quality, right? Really, it's quality microphone. USB microphone. Okay, guys. Ano yung rasa uli? Kapi matuk na kung char. Hello ka. Kapi yaw yaw. Okay. A28. Ganon ganon. Okay. Mubalik rin po haon niya. Kapi lang nila na to guys. 
uh, third segment, right? Kani kan tama ko ganina og mga kuan, di ba? Kaloka. Okay. Ganon. 